Hi, I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough of Content Notifier, but before we do that, let me explain exactly what Content Notifier is. Content Notifier is a tool for getting your sites indexed quickly and also boosted in the search engine results. What it does is send out pings to a database of over 130 different sites and also does backlinking to a database of over 70,000 sites. So the combination of doing pings and backlinking gets your site boosted in the search engine results and get indexed rather quickly. So let's go ahead and take you through the features of Content Notifier. Here we are on the home screen and this is just a couple bullets that explains the three easy steps that you're going to need to take to get the application running. Now you can actually skip the first step because the first step is basically configuration and the software comes with a basic configuration already so you can actually skip this first step. But I'm going to take you through the features so that you're familiar with them. So we're going to go ahead and click configure application and then you're going to see it's going to bring up a page with a series of tabs. On this first tab is the percent of database to use and we recommend somewhere between 20 and 30 percent of the database to run against every time it runs. This way you're not hitting that database of over 70,000 domains all at once. But if you wanted to, I mean, you could easily go in and change that value to whatever you want it to be. Um, but again, we have it set by default to 30%. And then the other setting is basically which services you want to run. You can either run backlinks by itself, you can run the pings by itself, or you can run pings and backlinks. And actually, by default, it's going to be set to pings and backlinks. Then the other setting on this tab is database log maintenance. We log all of the actions when Content Notifier runs so you can decide how much of the history you want to keep and right now it's set at six months. Okay and then on the next tab is the application performance. Now what this does is allows you to set how fast you want the application to perform and you could just change this and the fat, the higher you set the number the more processing power is going to take from your computer so you could maybe set it on 40 to 50 percent but you can kind of play around with that setting so that you can get the uh, kind of speed that you want that way if you're running against a, a large list then you can kind of set it up higher so that it gets done faster now the next tab is the schedule tab one of the great features of content notifier is that you can set it to automatically run and what it does is creates a, a scheduled task in windows uh, task manager so that it can run at whatever interval you set and we recommend just having it run every 30 days against 30 percent of the database and you'll be just fine and the next tab is the proxy server setting if you want if you choose to use a proxy server you can you just go in add your settings uh, click to enable and you can also test a proxy server settings as well and then once you're done with all your settings here you just hit save and you're done. That's it for the settings. Now once you've entered in all your settings, the next thing you want to do is go and add your URLs. So you can click your URLs. And the other thing you can do is import from a file. Let's say you have an Excel file that you want to import URLs from. Uh, you could do that. You just click import from a file and then it's going to tell you exactly what format that file needs to be in up here. So you must have the title of the URL, whether or not it's your domain, and that's a wire N in that column. And then you choose whether or not the first column has headings, and then you just go in and you click select file to select the file off of your computer. And once it does that, it's going to just load them all and you'll be able to see all the domains that it imported. And then you just hit save and close, and it's going to add those to this page once that's done. I'm not going to run through that because uh, right now I don't have a sample file, but uh, it's pretty easy to do. Now once you have all your URLs in the database, the ones that you want to run, uh, you would normally just go ahead and hit start and then that would get the program running, but I'm going to take you through a couple other features. Uh, this other one is data list. So in this page, you can basically see all of the data or the URLs that Content Notifier is going to run against. Uh, here's the ping list, uh, so you can kind of go through and see all of the site that, sites that it's going to ping. And then the domain list is where it's going to be doing its backlinking. So there, as you can see here, over 
almost 79,000 uh, different URLs in this database. So I'm just going to go back to the home screen. Now one of the other things that you can do is we added a couple different tools and reports to the application. So uh, this is one we don't really advertise because uh, as you can see it's a rank checker and it's not always exact but we just added it in here just so you can, so you can kind of get an idea of where you rank and how many backlinks you get. Uh, so you can go in and you add your URL and just do the check rank and it'll pull back data if it, if it can find it. Uh, and then the other one is a history report. What this does is shows you exactly when it ran last and what domains it ran against and it also gives you a status green for good, red for uh, not good. Then once you're finished checking history you can just click finished and it'll take you back to the home page. And then let's go back to the main tab. So once you've entered your URLs, you've configured the application, all you have to do is hit start and you'll get a little pop-up notification saying it's ready to run. And you click OK and then it's going to start running. I'm going to go ahead and stop it because I don't want it to run. And that's it. That's the basic features of Content Notifier. It's pretty easy to use but extremely powerful. So go ahead and grab your copy today.